I mean, Skull is... I mean, any any high-level player will not be a stranger to Snake, because that's kind of one of those matchups that, like, as a... You've made it as a high-level player if you know this matchup. Yeah, definitely. Like, it's One just, of the biggest matchup shocks that, like, you just... First of all, there are a lot of Snake players, and it's also just a really good character, so you just need to know how to play against this character. And you're... Like, obviously, if you're being Snake, it's usually your advantage state. Taking advantage of Snake's disadvantage. Yeah. And that's one of the marks of a top player. So, and Skulls is definitely one of them. Kermit's gonna have his hands full here, but no slouch in his own regard. So let's that's definitely, definitely right. Well, every set today has been um, people's first time playing each other, which is also really interesting. No past that records. Let's see how this is gonna play out. Oh, already whoa, seen some whoa, counter whoa, 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 counter play coming out from Skulls. This is a lot of projectiles, but then. Pushing the advantage once you have it, well, up tilt, forward tilt, or back tilt, basically. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> that was really good, putting Snake off stage instead of uh, putting him up, up, perhaps, at this percent. Yeah, it's a lot of Toon Link kind of forcing Snake to play around his own grenades by tossing these boomerangs and these bombs when Snake is trying to toss them. Oh, wow, catching the bomb there, but... You can definitely see Chromatic is trying to bait out um, Skull's approaching his shield when he's holding the grenade. However, Slock is, instead of um, hitting his shield, Skull is just challenging it with the projectiles, so mm. it's um, safe pressure. Oh wow, running back to but, make sure yeah. the boomerang pressures and connects onto Chromatic. Great stuff there, has Chromatic in the corner. You know Skull is looking for the forward air, but Chromatic escapes just in time. Good grab coming out from Skull. Oh, the forward tilt almost hit. So many explosions everywhere. Oh, trying to snipe out a jump there. Right, not giving it to Scars. Now they're both basically one good hit away from losing their stock here. Grenade kind of messing up Chromatic on his own uh, chase there. Shouldn't have pummeled there as um, Chromatic had a grenade on his hand. But he is now off stage and Scars going to get hit by the up <laughs> The Cypher giving him a free reversal, but Scars reverses it himself with that back throw. That's the kill throw you have to look out for against Toon Link. And loves the Zare as well because we like said something to dash check as we just saw, but also very good at setting up a tech chase that Skulls is also very well practiced in. Yeah, but for sure. If you DI it down, it's a tech chase, and if you DI it up, I think for the most part you can get a dash attack off it at that percent. So it's just a really good option that's safe and uh, good pressure. Oh, try to get dash check the zone break here. Skulls is running away with it. Boomerang into platform tech chase. Does not pull the trigger on anything, but still maintaining all the control here. Oh, this is definitely what you want to do against Snake. Like, even though he does have a grenade, Snake doesn't really have a lot of options out of disadvantage, and Skulls is showing us how to take advantage of that. Okay, the forward air is going to send Chromatic off stage here. Oh, barely missing the forward air, so Chromatic going to have the stage control given back to him. The throw here, forward tilt. Good oh, roll away. Probably just outside yeah, the percent where the forward tilt stock. confirms. Because the forward tilt can confirm off a of down throw, but it is a bit finicky, I've heard. Oh, the up air. You'll always watch out for that. Skaws loves to you do that to shark you and snipe your jumps as well. Is that gonna... Oh, I thought he was gonna go oh. for that forward air. Good, good forward air? Coming uh, you can always kind of tell when the snake wants to go for it. Yeah. He sends you at like kind of that horizontal I mean, it is angle. a really slow move as well. You can kind of react to it. It's really just catching people with like lazy recoveries or... Sometimes without a jump as well. Oh, that back air, very long lingering. Gonna help Chromatic gain a few more hits, but he's giving up stage control a lot. The Sticky is on to Scars here, but it's been transferred over to Chromatic. And yeah, again, all these projectiles just forcing Chromatic to deal with so much here. All the bombs, the boomerangs, and his own grenades. It's just so much to deal with. Scars, yeah. the deep forward air is gonna seal game one. Skulls definitely showing us that he knows the matchup and he played that really, really well. Let's see if we're going back to the same stage again, per usual. Yeah, it's just about whether Chromatic can figure out a way to set up his traps in a safer manner, where he's not getting pressure by all these projectiles from Skulls. Battlefield. Because all these boomerangs and bombs from Toon Link, yeah. Sorting Chromatic to play around his own grenades, sometimes he's getting hit by all three. Yeah, so definitely. <laughs> And then once Skulls gets the hit in, it doesn't even matter what hit, you can run in pressure uh, with Toon Link's really good normals. 
can see all the snake mains behind us watching the set together. Yeah, they like snake mains are like the kind that like they they band together and like oh wow oh, that there forty percent that was clean. <laughs> Who's Wi-Fi snake? Is that Ed? Probably Wood. Yeah, it's probably Ed. <laughs> What's like which snake? Fan? Okay, oh. big oh, damage there. coming out. Trying to catch the jump, but Scott's recovering low. How did that bomb just? I think just Scott was holding it still. I'm not, I don't know how that. Good grab coming up from Chromatic. What's Whoa. the ledge gonna be? True, trying to get a jump with the downer. I believe on like taller characters, the downer would have hit neutral get up, but Toon Link is way too short. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. See the skull. Chromatic's just kind of bait options from Skulls like out of shield. He's just trying to like even like blow up the C4 on the other side. I mean I think he was trying to sticky, but did you like it might have just been to bait an option from Skulls with like the kind of audio cue. I have no clue, man. On the back yeah, here, that's gonna there. do it. So this time Chromatic taking the first dog. Um it's definitely a lot harder to play without a lead in this matchup, so we'll yeah. see what okay. Never mind! Takes it right back, and we're back now even on second stock again. Yeah, that's the one thing as Snake, usually you can sit back and kind of set up your traps, but against projectile characters that can also combo off of them, like Toon Link, Young Link, you do have to play very carefully when you're ahead still, because you cannot allow it, your opponent to gain momentum just like that. I really like the way um, Skulls has been throwing up his bomb and uh, forcing Chromatic to Kind of like drift to one side, certain side. side. That would have been a crazy stock. You know, with like four projectiles off stage. <laughs> it's like target practice. But again, what does Snake do about it, right? Like, he's actually pretty bad at disadvantage. Yeah. Sticky. Oh! Oh, that would have oh. been clean! So close! I feel like Snake Mane's always like, they have like setups they like to do to set up stickies. And Chromatic's definitely looking for them and it's almost working every time, but just barely off the mark. Good, covering the jump. Oh. Yeah, he's really trying to get this down air off stage. It's not working for him. I feel like Skulls has also been doing a really good job of not jumping when he shouldn't. Yeah. Wait, what? If you don't do anything in that situation, oh. it just hits. Yeah. I was like... Can't just new, uh, can't, yeah, can't just do nothing. I was, yeah, I guess Skulls tried to kind of outplay himself, probably. <laughs> we're at 160%. Any young... No, any Toon Link normal ship be capable Oi! to kill you. <laughs> That was so close to hitting! That's the kind of thing Snakes always like to go for. But Skull's gonna survive it and take the stock as well, so now we're here even on this last stock. Catching the bomb on their way down as well. It's yeah, very even. 30% both sides. Yeah, once again, Zair dash deck, but the grenade's gonna interrupt that. But again, the Arrows also have been coming out to apply additional pressure as well. We didn't see that as much of that in game one. Now Skulls is putting up all this projectile warfare here. Both of the players are aware that whoever gets this big opening might be able to take the game off it. So yeah, they playing very patiently. Oh, that's going to be a big punish here. Grenade into... Oh, oh my, my whoa, god! Whoa, 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 whoa! He was trying to cook, man. He gets the... St if no. he lets any of these, he gets all the style points in the world. Good recognition. Okay, this guy's gonna play very careful around the up tilt here. We are in a bigger stage, so we won't die just yet, but still, Command's gonna look to inch him towards that percent. Oh, oh okay, that yeah. Was really good. That's the thing. Skulls. Snake has these grenades. Toon Link has more projectiles. We saw a boomerang, uh, like arrow boomerang bomb into forward air. Kermit didn't have enough to throw back. And that was really good for Skulls for recognizing exactly when the um, side B is going to connect. So he ran straight into it. Yeah, because both the bomb and the boomerang can convert yeah, into forward yeah, air, for but sure. he knew exactly which one was going to hit. 